2,000 meter above sea level. And there's the stage here. Let's get a bit closer actually to the stage. I was hoping for a mountain view. Watch her carrying a, a tank of gas like. That's nice. I like Darjeeling a lot. Just wondering if my room is ready for chicken. This reminds me of uh, Mori. Was it called Mori? In uh, Pakistan. Namaste. 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 Oh man, that actually does remind me of uh, of Nepal. That's a lot of money for a tea. I really, really don't like that. I don't know why they do this. Allah Hafiz? Ah, uh, yes, we got it right. <laughs> All right, just arrived to Darjeeling. Jumped out from the um, shared taxi and I arrived here. And uh, I'm so looking forward to this actually. This town has been on my bucket list for quite some time. But right now what I'm, do what I'm doing is, I'm gonna go and uh, check in in a hotel that I found on booking.com. I think I have to climb those stairs to go up. I really hope so. I'm not sure of the way, but let's see if I'm on the right way or path. Get like a small view of like the center city here. There's a petrol station just there. And all the way up. Oh man, that's a lot of stairs. Wow. Oh man, this hotel better be worth it. Oh man. <laughs> This hotel really better be worth it. Look at this, I arrived to the top of the stairs now. And it's got like a Nepalese vibe into it. I got to see a lot of those flags when I was in Nepal. And uh, man, that, that took my breath away. <laughs> those stairs with the backpack. Oh, what's he making? It's like it's almost lunchtime, like, you know? Maybe we're gonna have lunch. Oh, that's so cool. Namaste. 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 Oh man, that actually does remind me of uh, of Nepal a lot. Oh, look at those monks there. Namaste. That is so cool. Like kind of first impression, you know, the people, the people have like that mix of looks into them, which like, I feel like I have just like traveled into a whole other country. Darjeeling is in India, by the way. I am still in India. Just to clarify that for new audience and viewers out there. And then this way, again, more stairs up. Oh man, that is far. <laughs> I don't mind like if I wasn't carrying the backpacks, but and there I am like complaining like we've seen them in Nepal like carrying like about 40-50 kgs going like up the mountains Alright, no complaints, just let's, let's just do it Let's just go up those stairs Again, all the way to the top There's a lot of hotels here by the way I just like noticed When I just arrived, I'm walking around now looking for mine I rarely book online but I found a really good deal uh, on booking.com so I couldn't like resist and I will give you a tour of the room of course and check it out let me get up to the top look at this lady here oh man that's like man this like Nepal all over watch her carrying a, a tank of gas like that's heavy, heavier than than my backpacks isn't it what a legend. No complaint. No. It's too easy for me. Just go. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, amazing. So I just made it to the top, and uh, I just see my sign. This is where I'm going. This is my hotel here, Moscatel Roma, and uh, I see the sign over here as well, Moscatel Himalayan Resort Roma. And you know, what's ironic is, Moscatel is, uh, is a very famous alcoholic drink in Portugal. It's called Moscatel. And uh, it's like in, in the category of like ports, you know, or port. Uh, almost also kind of wine, 
can't think but I think it's ironic like they call it that and there's Roma in it because what's Roma has to do with it right there is the sign music to my ears welcome to Moscatel Roma namaste hello I have booking name is Mo okay no problem Some people before me, let them check in first. That's a good sign. Awarded Moscatel Roma, 400 miles from Mall Road. 400 meters, 9.3 on booking.com. Oh, man, I can't speak. Half a decade of redefining hospitality with warmth and love, celebrating five years. And it's like on entrance, it's like the reception area. Yes, Modraj, yes. Sorry? It's been cleaned. I'm sorry? Uh, the room is being cleaned right now. Okay. So it will take some time. How long? So, uh, I think it will take about half an hour. Half an hour? That's okay. No problem. All right, her room is not ready yet. Which is okay, because like, cause, like the, the guy was fairly nice with it as well. Like he was explaining to me like, you know, check-in time is at two o'clock. I am a bit early. What time is it now? Yeah, it's 12 now, so, you know, probably some people like just checked out and they need to prepare the room for the next guest, which is me. Which, uh, he said to me, like, come back in half an hour. It's not so bad. Let's go off to Mall Road. That's like the main street, main city center. Let's have a look there and uh, see what's hidden and explore. I'm just on my way. First impression, can I, can a video like, you know, of this, uh, of this town up high in the mountains where probably about 2,000 meter above sea level and it is winter season as well so you can understand how cold everything can be look at this cute shop it's kind of sometimes like those places catches my attention when it's like something special into it like look made in Darjeeling the yellow box and it is a shop like a box namaste hello and look at that I love Darjeeling or Darj they can not fit all the ling in Darjeeling cute little things oh man this is nice Darjeeling queen of the hill and this is like a like a tile made of you can tell it's like a I think it can be like handmade. Very nice. Oh, I like these. These are really nice. This is nice too. But like there's a bit of a weight into this, you know? Yeah, it caught my attention. Very nice. Then bye. Bye bye. My first impression about people as well so far. Fairly nice, like, especially the taxi driver that brought me up here. I came from Siliguri and yeah, the taxi driver was super nice, like, you know, let me walk here. Oh, there's a backpacker there, you see. Very friendly, speaks really good English, even like it's a shared taxi, by the way. I didn't come with, like, with a private taxi. Shared taxi with other locals as well. The ticket was cheap as well, like, how much did I pay? I think it was like 250 or 300 or something, I can't remember. Something like that. Look at this drop here. Oh, we have a clock tower just over there and there's another street just there that looks like a clock tower but also like a kind of like an entrance into something usually in Ireland this could be like a, a cathedral or in Europe in general very interesting it's got like you know European style into it as a first impression and you can go down below this way there's a statue there a horse statue shall we go down let's go down let's 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 go down I'll probably go up again. I think I think more road is that way. So let's go this way here and then I'll go up. <laughs> That'll be like a good tour, right? Of Darjeeling. And we have the horse statue just there with a man on top of it holding a sword. And you can see like all all the locals, all the people are well dressed up. Because it's fairly cold, and we've seen this side, man. This, like, this is what I mean by, you know, it's got like a Nepalese vibe into it, you know. Probably this is like the main. Now it's probably like the square, right? 
which makes more sense. We've got like a kind of police stand here. Man, this city is like, or I should say like this town, Darjeeling police, just there. But it's like, it's not, it's like, it's a big town. It's a fairly big town. Because when I arrived down below, it was like something like this. And I thought that was like the main city center. And passing by the taxi, there was like a sign that says like, I love Darjeeling. We'll capture that probably in another video. Right now, I just want to check out more road, which is uh, this way here. That's like the main kind of city center area. Starting off from this here, where there's like a statue. I missed it actually, just over there. And we walk this way, there's like up and down, up and down, this, uh, this town. Because like this town is built up in the mountains, right? And uh, which makes sense, there's always like going to be up and down, up and down. We learned that from Nepal as well. And super nice. There's a tourist information office there. And there's like this wall here. Don't worry, they're missing. <laughs> they, they, they were missing about. They were not serious. This is a nice wall. I like, I like this vibe, man. The vibe here is very cool. And you know this street, what reminds me of? Oh, shall I say it? I mean, if you've been following this journey for quite some time, you probably can actually see it as well, you know? This reminds me of uh, Mori. Was it called Mori? In uh, Pakistan. This street reminds me of it. And it was cold also, uh, vibe as well. And uh, it was even much colder. There was snow everywhere. I filmed it during the day and at night time as well, which I... Most likely I'm gonna film at night here as well because I imagine this street is going to be more buzzing at night Than during the day of course. Yeah, we have clothes shops here, but I imagine here like everything is overpriced so You need to go very hard with the negotiation here And uh, Darjeeling is very touristic Not only international tourism, but also Indian tourism actually more Indian tourism than, than international to be fair And the, the thing is uh, I met a lot of Indians while traveling in uh, Punjab and Rajasthan uh, region here in India and uh, a lot of people talk about uh, Darjeeling like you should go and visit Darjeeling this was like at, the, at my first time being in India everybody spoke about this which I never heard about it uh, before and uh, they recommended this place and I looked it up on the map and I pinned it and I was like one day I'm gonna come here and here I am and just the way how it should be <laughs> I kept looking at them and smiling, but not even a smile on their face. Strange. Oh. 400% pure Pashmina shawls. Kashmir arts. Look at this. Let's touch that. Namaste. How are you? I'm good. Oh, cute shop. Namaste. Oh, it's like a mixture of carpet and uh, scarves. Oh, that feels really nice though. Oh, that feels really, really nice. Hello. How are you? <laughs> this is, this is uh, from Kashmir? Yeah, everything out here is from Kashmir. Yeah, I thought so. It's always a sign when you see carpets in India, it's most likely it's coming from Kashmir. Exactly. Yeah, bro, long, long time in India. <laughs> I learned that. Yeah. Done about. Thank you. Thank you. Allah Hafiz? Ah, yes, we got it right. <laughs> so what happens when you travel a lot, like, you know, you get to learn and pick up on these things, you know, those little things. I bet you they appreciated that as well because they knew that I knew. And of course, you travel as much as I have, you'll know too. Look at this here. That's a nice um, wall art here. I don't want to even say graffiti. I like that. And it's like it's like it's coming off. Like look, it's not just like on the wall and painted. It comes off as well. You know, it's a fish. Huh? Matcha. 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 Fish. Fish. 
it says fish, fish. Finest Darjeeling tea. And um, this is what they're famous for here. Darjeeling tea. Wow, this is a cute shop. Beautiful packaging as well. And uh, I've heard is extremely, extremely expensive, you know. So if we can grab one of those, it says here like a black tea. And yeah, 790 rupees. That's a lot of money for a tea. We'll get to try it for sure later on. I just arrived, so. And this here is like the, the toy train, which is another thing like uh, Darjeeling is very famous for, the toy train, you know? Which is very famous here. <laughs> not sure if I'm gonna do that. Uh, it's definitely not my thing. Oh, they're all like next to each other, those tea uh, shops. All right. Let's move on. Look over here, there's a fountain. Yeah, it makes sense. It's not gonna be an operation, so there's no water. It is cold. We've experienced that through winter travels in a lot of countries like in east of Turkey and Iran and Pakistan. And, you know, we saw a lot of fountains. Um, and they were not in operation for obvious reason. Water will freeze, you know. But wow, what a square. This is nice. So I just came over there, there's the fountain. And look at this for a space. Wow, really cool. And there's a stage at the far distance and in the middle there is a statue. I like that a lot, but I do want to look at the view first, you know. Or shall we leave the, the view till the end? Let's actually go here, you know? And it says, look, welcome to Mall Market. Uh, we'll, we'll make another video for that, for sure. Uh, we, <laughs> we are exploring here, you know? And there are horses. It's going to be 30,000 or 3,000. Cool, like, you know, I mean, we have that option here and there's a statue. The writing is not in English, it is in Hindi or even actually in Nepalese, I think. Oh, there is an English here. Banu Bhakta Agarya, born 1814, Nepali national poet, author of the Ramayana. So he's a poet. You can see him holding a book. And there's the stage here. Let's get a bit closer actually to the stage. Oh, that's a big dog. Look at him. And man, there is so much to explore, but. It really, really, really reminds me of that town in, in Pakistan. So similar. So, so similar. And look at this, up the stage. So I assume like they would actually make... Ah, oh, okay, this is interesting. For a second I thought that was the stage, which makes more sense to me, but no, this is the stage here. And this is like the seatings, right? You know, people can sit here and watch the show. Oh, this is nice. What would this be for then? Not sure. Huge screen as well here. Man, you know what? This place should be explored at night time. I know that at night time here is going to be very, very nice. Uh, let's go and have a look at the view point. Okay, let's have a look here. Oh, look at that. Oh, now that is a view. That's a money shot right there. Oh, super nice. There's a platform over there. No, this is actually not a platform. It's actually a rooftop. Looks like a platform, but it's not. Is there a platform we can actually view? Like, ideally should be, no? Oh, pity, no platform, but maybe we can have a look here. Maybe a better view this way. Oh man, look at that. Darjeeling is a beautiful town. Wow, that's nice. I like Darjeeling a lot. Very nice. Up high in the mountains, man. I love the mountains. I complain always about the cold. I hate the cold, but I love the mountains. So we can compensate in both. And I just noticed on the top there, there's like a, a temple. Very interesting. Hello. Just wondering if my room is ready for check-in. Just a second, sir. Your reservation name, sir? 
Mo Modrash. Can you give me two minutes? Let me check. Sure, no problem. No problem. All right. We are checked in and off to the room. That's my room here. Done about. You have the key? I didn't get the key. It's inside. No, it's ah, okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll show you some cards, scanner. Okay. Uh, if you want to order anything or eat anything, you can scan in this and order. Okay. You can scan it from WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you so much. This is our Wi-Fi password. Okay. And uh, this is our toll-free number. If you want anything, uh, just call in this and press one. We'll connect in the reception. Done about. I was hoping for a mountain view, but it was a good deal to be fair, so we're not gonna be too picky. It's nice, like, let's see here. Oh, there's the key. Thank you. Done about. All right, let's plug this in first. Okay, just like that. We have the light, and there's the door. Let's put the bag down here for a minute. There is the door. Let's lock that. So on entrance, they always have like in India slippers and this is going to be the toilet. The toilet is nice like and we have at least definitely hot water, super important, you know. We have also the, the washer, toilet paper and the toilet super clean like you know to be fair to them very nice mirror sink shower the toilet is really nice it's perfect it's what you need like you know what do we have here closet we have a closet here i like that that's nice two hangers in it you know and the most important part of everything is of course the bed. Let me move those bags here so I can move around. All right. Mirror. This is so handy to have. The kettle. This is my view. Hmm. Not the greatest view, but I'll take it. TV. And we have the bed. And do you know what I just noticed is this. Oh my god. No way. That's a blanket heater, man. Oh, lads. That is. Oh, that's a blanket heater. Yeah, you can, you can see it here. Look. That is heaven. The blanket heater is the, like, it's worth it. 100% for the blanket heater. I'll take it any day of the week, you know. Because it's fairly cold and at night also it's, it's, it's going to be, I, I can only imagine it's going to be cold. So this is going to be very handy uh, to have. Oh, more lights. The more lights the better, you know. And uh, yeah, it's fairly nice. And look like they have like this cushions there, you know. The bed, uh, the pillow, is soft pillow as well. And the bed, oh yeah, soft as well. Because like... Man, I haven't been filming a lot of like the accommodations I stay in, in in India and other countries. But I can tell you, in Bangladesh it was tough. Like I did not spoil myself like this in Bangladesh. But this is nice. But the only part that I dislike about this, I really, really don't like that. I don't know why they do this, you know. I just noticed this is a two bit instead of one. So you have the line. So I, I show you. Look at this here. I don't know why they do that. You know, it's just like... Why would you do that, you know? Look at that here. This is two. So like all this size of this bed, I'm not gonna be able to sleep in the middle. I'm gonna pick a side, and obviously it's going to be probably this side or that side, it doesn't matter. But there's this gap here. You know, you can't really sleep with this gap here because these are two mattresses put together, you know? And they do that a lot in Asia, and it's so annoying. It looks like a massive bed, but it's not. You know, you can't really sleep on it, you know, in the middle, as big as it is. This is only probably like the downside of this. Fairly quiet as well. There's no road noise or anything. We're actually fairly away from the road as well. So there's not gonna be any noise. Um, what else? 
Um, the bed seems comfortable, the pillows, cleanliness wise is actually fairly clean. Um, I'm really happy with it. Um, how much did I pay? I'll, I'll tell you exactly how much I paid and I booked it on booking.com because I found like a really good deal and I took an advantage of it. You know, this is, this is something I do on a regular basis. I keep an eye out. If you are new to the channel, usually what I do is I walk around and find a hotel and negotiate, but I always check online as well, just to kind of keep my options open. In Darjeeling, there's a lot of options here. I'm paying for this exactly 1,727 rupees and 31 cents or whatever it's called. Let's, let's round it up to 28. Um, through booking.com for two nights, not one night. This is for two nights rate. And um, what else? Um, yeah, that's it. I think this is the end of this video, right? Um, if you want to do me a favor, and if you are going on a next trip, you know, you can check the link below of booking.com affiliate link that I have. And what it does is there's no extra charge for you. Booking.com, if you use my link, using booking.com, it'll give me a commission from their commission on the uh, hotels that you book. That's all it is. Check the link below. It will help the channel a lot. If you made it this far, thank you all for watching. And as always, see you on the next one.